Hello, my lovely, lovely viewers. I am your host, Super Tame, and today I bring you some Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And as you can see, we're on the map Raid. And uh, yeah, I prestige my weapon. You can you can take a look at that Fupa. If you guys know what that means, put it in the comments. If you know what Fupa means, without Google searching, put it in the comments. Otherwise, don't say it. <laughs> Um, but as you guys can see, I, I started off pretty bad, but I can promise you this is a very good gameplay, as you can tell by the title. So, let's uh, continue it. Oh, wow, look at that spraying. Not starting off very good. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys know what gun I'm using, and I'm going to tell you just some thoughts I have on the game, you know, since it's been out over a month now. And, um, you know, let's, uh, let's get to it. So I'm using the PDW with uh, Reticle whatever they call it in this game, they always change the name of the reticule sites or whatever it's called. Uh, and then the uh, little handlebar thingy, forget what it's called. Also, I'm a horrible, horrible, horrible thinker, as you guys can tell. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm using that, and since th this uh, video, I've actually started to use a silencer as opposed to the reticule, because it lets me uh, spawn trap better. And every once in a while, when you're playing by yourself, uh, even when you're playing with a team sometimes, you'll get those good games where you can just, you know, run around their base, you know, never stay in the same place because you're going to die if you do. Look at that. Oh, handgun kill, but then the freaking thing got me. And then I got my uh, stealth chopper in here. I don't like to use any kill streaks that, um, that I have to control myself. Because I just feel it's, you know, it it lets me play and get kills by myself as opposed to sitting down in a corner and getting what 25 points for each uh, for each other thing, you know, and um, you know it's uh for each kill. I'm sorry, Jesus Christ, guys, lots on my brain, lots of stuffs on my brains, and uh, yeah. So that's why I prefer to just use a kill streak that's automated and gets kills by itself like that. <clears throat> and it lets me continue to run around and use my uh my stuff. So, uh now that that's been fully and covered in massive detail, <laughs> let's uh let's talk about what I think of this game so far after a month. And I will start off by saying it is already leaps and bounds better than Modern Warfare 3 for the simple fact that I wasn't even playing Modern Warfare 3 after a month. I had already given up on the game. It just, there was flawed everything, you know? Just nothing seemed to play right. It just did not work. And I mean, it does help that this game has uh, the zombies because I'm a big fan of the zombies. And uh, I will hopefully be, be bringing some videos for you guys of the zombies. <laughs> I like to say Ziz Zombies because um, I'm a goofy guy. And the goofy guy just got a double kill. So uh, suck on that. Aren't you proud of me, Mama? <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, um, it's already leaps and bounds better than Modern Warfare 3. And there's many reasons for it, but uh, a quick one will be that they aren't adjusting it too much. See,. Modern Warfare 3, after a month, it had already been out. There had been maybe four or five patches where they had adjusted the effectiveness of everything in the game. And while Black Ops 2 has done that, they didn't do four or five patches. They did one, and it was minor adjustments, and just a few, you know, big adjustments. And... It seems to have worked out well because it's, you know, not, um, it's not OP anymore. Not as bad as it was. And, I mean, I didn't really have much to complain about to begin with. Uh, the spawns, you know, it's Call of Duty. The spawns are never going to be perfect. So I got this. I steal care package, and then I kill the guy in the corner. Boom. What? What, son? You? Yeah. That is just skills. And also, my Warthog, oh, it's just in beast mode right now. It is eating up everything. It is just beasting Marshawn lynching, if I don't say so myself. <laughs> so, um, yeah. 
And, oh, round one's coming to a close here. And, oh, three points right before it ends. Yeah. So, I first of all, I want to say any gameplay that I post, I will probably never post uh, a loss. Because I, I feel like if I post a loss, it'll just show that I'm not a team player. That I was willing to get hundreds of kills or whatever. And yes, I know I'm not moving right now. I'll explain that in a second. <laughs> but it shows that I was willing to get a bunch of kills and not do anything for the team. And for that reason alone, I will probably never post a loss on here. And, and also because, frankly, nobody wants to see you lose after having a really good game. And, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, uh, the reason I was standing still like that was because uh, I had to do something real quick. Uh, someone knocked on my door, and I just had to run for it, and I literally sprinted up and down stairs. You guys would be proud of me. You really would. <laughs> so, you know, it's just another thing with this game. I, I kind of like the maps better. The maps don't feel as dark and grim and gritty. I mean, yes, we do have the patented gray and black and just straight up darkness and sadness everywhere and sandy desert stuff but they try to mix it in i mean for look at this a basketball court really like i would want to live in this house no doubt without a doubt and it's just like it's something cool you know i haven't played the campaign so i don't know what any of these things are but i can only assume that um that the campaign goes over a lot of different areas because the only th the only thing that probably has nothing to do with uh, these maps, the only map that has nothing to do with the campaign, I'd say, is probably Nuketown 2025, and they threw that in there because Nuketown is just a freaking blast. It, that's all it is, just blah. If you're not wearing a flak jacket on... <laughs> On Nuketown, I can guarantee you, you're going to have a bad day. Just like the South Park meme, if you're not wearing a flak jacket, you're going to have a bad day. And also, uh, yes, I do go 50 and 3 in this game, but as you can see, I move around a lot. I mean, I was sitting there for a few seconds because I saw, you know, little dots on my screen. Wanted to make sure I wasn't about to get, uh, trapified. But, um, yeah, so, and I'm sitting there peeking for this guy, looking for him. Oh, he's sitting still. Oh, missed the knife. That's skill. Un okay. Okay. I need to talk about the knifing in this game. And, you know what? Sure, I'll, I'll title this rambling video or something. I don't know. But knifing in this game, that has to be the worst I've ever seen in a Call of Duty. Because either you're going to miss, I'd say probably 80% of the time you're going to miss your first knife, if you're running up to somebody and they're running at you also or whatever and you're both moving you're gonna miss your knife eighty percent of the time or you're gonna lunge forty feet across the map and get a freaking monster you know bayonet kill from world at war and it just <laughs> that's one thing they desperately need to improve because it is just driving me absolutely nuts i cannot Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. I couldn't decide. I couldn't decide. I wanted to get both of them, but I ran out of ammo. <sighs> but I pick up this monster of a gun and get a guy who's uh, lagging out. <laughs> and I'm just on a, I'm on a killer, killer kill streak. I mean, well, kill streak, score streak, whatever. Whatever they like to call it now for the, uh, for the objective players like myself. But, yeah, knifing is just totally crap in this game i've i've honestly i can't say i've had a positive knife battle at all but this is gonna wrap it up guys i once again i'm your host supertainment and hopefully i will bring you more of these videos final score 200 to 104 50 to 3 kill death ratio peace out